everybody, welcome to PEI Makeup Artist, and today I wanted to talk to you about some of my favorite natural beauty products. What I've learned over the last three years is some things I'm just not willing to, if, if, it's, if it doesn't perform the same way as a mainstream uh, beauty product, then I have to stick with my mainstream beauty product. But if it, I find something that is natural and it works just as good as the mainstream product, then of course I will use the healthier um, natural product. I love the smell of, and my daughters use this on their hair every single day. I don't because I have color treated hair and it's one of those things that I just, it had. I haven't found anything natural that has compared to what I normally use, so I've, I've still been using my Purology, but um, this Desert Essence, Essence, Desert Essence Organics Coconut Shampoo and Conditioner smells amazing, and my girls love it. They love it in their hair. Um, I buy this at the Atlantic Superstore. I think it's like $10 each. It is, it says there are no parabens, sodium, laurel, or laureth sulfates, uh, phthalates. There's no artificial color, silicones, glycol, or petroleum-based ingredients. And it's also 100% vegan, wheat, and gluten-free. So I love these. And I also, they also have the, um, a red grape. And I actually, I love even using this stuff to shape. Instead of using like um, aerosol cans or anything like that, I just use natural organic shampoo and conditioner to shave in the shower. Um, now for body lotion, I love this company here. Um, I'm not sure if it's the W is pronounced or if it sounds like a V, but I call it Walita. Maybe it's Valita. I don't really know. Um, this is the C Buckthorn body lotion. It's very nice, but my actual favorite product, and I ran out and I have to go get some more, is their um, their baby skincare line. I think it's like a, a calendula soap. I think it's calendula. I think it's what the main ingredient is, and that's what I use in the shower every day to wash. And it smells amazing. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, now, as for other skincare products. I love Burt's Bees Radiance Body Lotion. It's beautiful. The only thing with this, I don't find that um, for really dry skin that it's super hydrating. It is nice everyday lotion and it also has kind of, I think it's, um, I think it has like mica particles or something like that so it gives your skin a bit of um, a a shimmery kind of glow to it which is really pretty um, if you don't like shimmery stuff this may not be for you but I really like it uh, and the desert essence organics also has a coconut cream body lotion which is it smells so yummy and I just found this yesterday at shoppers drug mart and I was so excited I bought it right up it is the Coors body butter in jasmine and it's extra moisturizing cream for dry skin. And you want to know what? I've only used it once, but oh my god, I love it. This stuff, it's, I can smell it. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. This, I think, is going to be my new, new, new favorite product ever. And it is 92.8% natural content. There's no mineral oil, no petroleum, no paraffin wax, no silicones, no parabens, no glycol, no... Oh, See this list? This list is all the things that it doesn't have. Like, it's amazing. Um, and it's also, there's no animal testing, suitable for vegans, so there's no animal products in here, or byproducts. It's a little bit pricier than the other ones I've been showing. The other ones, I think like the Burt's Bees, maybe between $5 and $10, I can't really remember. This is probably same in the same range. Um, this was $33. It has 7.9 fluid ounces in it, but if you're looking for a luxury body lotion, this is it. It is gorgeous. I love it. Um, um, now, as for beauty products, the only thing so far that I have found that is free of parabens and all those other things that I've liked 
is Tarte Cosmetics. Now, yesterday I posted a video about uh, I got the Tarte lip stains and the Tarte cheek stains. Now, what it says on the box here for the lip stains, it's formulated without parabens, mineral oil, petroleum, phthalates, if that's how you say it right, sodium laurel, sulfate, and synthetic fragrance. And it also claims to moisturize six, see it says right there, 6,000% 6, moisture increase. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, who knows? Um, but anyways, they're really nice. I've been trying them out and um, both the, the uh, cheek stains and uh, the lip, products and they're great. They're probably not like my number one pick out of everything out there in the market, but for natural products, they're pretty good. I like it. And I was also mentioned yesterday about the Tarte um, jewelry box that I purchased. These are the eyeshadows and it opens up to another layer of eyeshadows. Then you have your lip glosses and your bronzer and highlighter and your eye pencils. I don't know if this is still available. It may have been just available over the holidays, but Tarte Cosmetics, if you're interested in natural beauty products and you're looking for makeup, you might want to check out their website because they do have some great products. And that's it. Oh, actually, there's one other thing. Um, when we were in Jamaica, I use this all the time. Uh, Burt's Bees After Sun Soother. It has aloe vera in it and it was wonderful because we're all so fair in my family and we burn really easily and um, it was it was a great product to use. So that's um, some of my favorite natural beauty products and I'd love to hear from you guys what products that you love to use, what um, you have used and you didn't like, or what are your favorite, favorite, favorite things. I'd love to hear about it because I'm always have my ear to gr the ground with this sort of thing. So I, I, Love not to waste any more money on products that really don't work. So if you have something that really does work, I'd love to hear about it. So anyways, that's it for now. Thanks. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.